Okay, number three for the unit three review. Again, here we're solving by graphing. So what we want to do is rewrite this equation, but in slope-intercept form. So y equals mx plus b. And what we need to do is add 10 to both sides of this first equation. Okay, and then divide both sides by 2. Really, this should be written as y equals negative 1 over 2 times x plus 5. So now our y-intercept is 5, and we go down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2. Here's our line. Looks like I got that lined up just right. Okay. Now... we will do the second equation. And we need to add 2y to both sides. And I'm going to switch the order of these terms on the right hand side. Dividing both sides by 2, we get y equals negative 3 halves, which is just negative, or sorry, negative 6 halves, which is just negative 3x minus 5. So let's go to our y-intercept of negative 5, and we will go down 3 over 1. If I need to see where the graph goes to the left, I'll go to the left one and up 3. Is that 3? 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. There's my intersection. <clears throat> and we'll see right there, we get that intersection. So here's our intersection. And it looks like we are at negative 4, comma, 7. So our solution is negative 4, comma, 7. Let's do one more of these. <clears throat> okay, this one here, to get it in slope-intercept form, we'll have to subtract 3x from both sides. And then from here, we'll divide both sides by 2. For the second equation, I need to, I'm going to switch the order of those two terms on the right hand side, like so, and then divide both sides by negative 2. So this should be positive 1 half x minus 5, wait, yeah, minus 5. Because 10 divided by negative 2 is negative 5. Okay, cool. So we have our y-intercepts. One is at negative 5, one is at 7. Should really just do one of these at a time. Okay, for the first one, with the y-intercept of 7, our slope is negative 3 halves. So we will go down 3, 1, 2, 3, and over 2 down 3 over 2. <clears throat> Please use a straight edge for this. <clears throat> okay, and then for our other one, we go up 1 over 2. Since the slope is 1 half, up 1 over 2. And there we'll see that intersection. Just make sure I connect these so you can see the lines. 
Put some black. There we go. So where is our intersection located? It is at six, comma negative two. Okay, so that was solving by graphing. We'll do a substitution problem. Let's do this one here. So fortunately, we already have y isolated. Now what's good about that is we can just plug in what y is equal to into our original, our first equation, like so, negative 7x plus 4 times, we have 3x minus 8, and then we'll continue on with this equation, equals negative 7. Okay, now we have to distribute. Combine like terms. If we add 32 to both sides, this should be 7 less than 32 is 25. So we get x equals 5. So our solution is going to be 5 comma, what's our y value? So to get our y value, we can just plug in 5 for x, and it'd probably be easiest to put it into this equation. <clears throat> so we get y is equal to 3 times 5, okay. as you can see here, minus 8, which gives us y is equal to, y is equal to 15 minus 8, which would give us 7. So here's our solution, 5 comma 7. And we really need to write our solution as an ordered pair, like this. All right, let's look at elimination. We'll do another one of these. <clears throat> so when you have numbers like this, where we can't just double this one, this equation here, and end up with the same coefficient between these two, right? If you doubled it, you get that first equation, you'd get but notice that negative 10 is not the same as negative 6. But one thing we can do, which might make it easier, is to add or subtract equations from each other in the first place. So it looks like if we add these we'll just add them let's try it out 4x minus 5x would be negative x negative 5y plus negative 6y is negative 11y <clears throat> this is probably not the best way to do it but it is a way to do it negative 12 and 15 positive 3. So now that I have this equation, we can look at these two equations think, okay, which one would be easiest to get the same coefficient? And I'm thinking we can make this coefficient 4. We can make it even negative 4, so all we have to do is multiply this whole thing by 4. So I'm going to rewrite that first equation, 4x minus 5y equals negative 12. And then here I'm going to rewrite this equation after 4 has been distributed to each term. In other words, we've multiplied the whole equation by 4. Negative 11x, that would be negative 44, sorry, negative 11y times 4 is negative 44y. And then 3 times 4 is 12. <clears throat> oh man, that stinks. What we end up with, we did do that, right? Is these cancel when we add, right? 4x minus 4x is 0. 
when we add these two, we get negative 49y. And then when we add these two, we get 0. So we know y equals 0. So our solution, remember, our y value is 0. Now we got to find our x value. So if you plug in 0 for y, we'll just do it with the first equation. Come on. 4x minus 5 times, we said it's 0, equals negative 12. This cancels, because 5 times 0 is 0. And then we find that x must equal negative 3. Alright, let's see if we can get one of these questions done. Okay, the cost of bo four boxes of pens and three boxes of pencils is $22.55. So, alright, I'll use P for pens, but then I'll use L for pencils. Like lapis, like pencils in Spanish, and plumas, pens in Spanish. 22.55. So, this accurately describes that first scenario. Second scenario is three boxes of pens and two boxes of pencils is 1645. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. Maybe the best way to do this is to subtract the first one from Subtract the second one from the first one. We get P plus L equals. And what do we get here? What's the difference between these two? Oh, this pen is not working. You just type this into your calculator. 6.1, huh? Okay. So this is what we get as another equation. And what we'll do is we can multiply this one by 2 so that we can take this equation and have it subtracted by this equation, but multiplied by 2. So I'll rewrite three, pen, three boxes of pens plus two boxes of lapis pencils, 1645. And then if we distribute this, we get two boxes of plumas, pens, plus two boxes of lapis is and 610 times 2 would be 1220. We'll subtract the second one from the first one like so and we'll get one box of plumas plus two boxes minus two boxes is zero. So this is zero. You don't even have to write it. And then 1645 minus 1220 would be 4 and 25 cents. So we know a box of pens is $4.25. And then you can plug this into any of those equations. I think this first equation is the easiest one. 425 plus one box of pencils equals 610. Subtract 425 from both sides, and you will get that the pencils cost okay, I'm out of time. <laughs>